Hi boys and girls, and we're gonna do a little, our last uh, video for today is a video about making some Easter bunnies and some Easter chicks. So uh, Caleb's our cameraman today, so say hello to Caleb. He's back there behind the camera, thanks Caleb. So I'm gonna show you, we have a couple letter friends that are helping out today. So we have Miss P who's holding a couple paintbrushes, Mr. Z of course, our letter friend for this week, and Miss E, and I think she's here maybe for Easter. So she's helping out. Um, she's holding a few of these toilet paper rolls because we're gonna be using these today for our activity or paper towel holders will work just as well. So, all right, so I'm gonna have Caleb stand on up. I'm gonna show you now. The special thing about this project is that I received <clears throat> a special visit from Kyle this week and Kyle dropped off this adorable picture and this is exactly what we are going to do today we're going to make these cute little easter bunnies and i'm also going to show you how to make some easter chicks now if you don't have paint at home don't worry i'm going to show you another way you can do it with just magic marker okay so i'm going to show you the paint way first so i'm going to put this here thank you kyle that was a really lovely little gift so your background can be whatever color you want it to be if you're using the white paint you obviously don't want to use white paper because then it won't show up so you can pick pink, you could pink blue or uh, purple or whatever color you would like. So I'm gonna do a pink one here today. And the first thing that you'll see is I have my plate. I have three different colors on my plate. I've got white, I've got some yellow, and I've got some green, okay? Now the yellow and the white, I'm gonna borrow these brushes. We wanna have that paint spread out so that there's enough room to take your paper towel or your uh, toilet paper roll and dip it into the paint, right? So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna spread out the yellow. Now I bet you can imagine, we're gonna use the white for the bunnies, but what color are we using for the chicks? Mm -hmm. The yellow, that's right, Caleb knew for sure. Now, if you decide you wanna do brown bunnies, you could use brown paint, that's up to you. So I'm gonna lay this here so I don't get paint on my table. So I've got my white, I'm just gonna kinda of make sure that's spread out also. Now the green, I'm not gonna do that with. The green, I'm gonna come back later with the other brush and just like Kyle did, make some grass and some fun little things on my paper, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, so if you can use it when it's long like this or if you wanna cut it in half, if that makes it easier to use a smaller one, you can. So let's demonstrate with the bunnies. Now, the bunnies have two parts to them. They have a round part and they have sort of an, um, an oval part. So I'm gonna show you how to do the round part first. So we're gonna take the end of our toilet paper or paper towel roll. And you can see I'm sort of twisting that a little bit into that paint, because you wanna make sure you get that whole part covered. Now we're gonna use it sort of like a stamper. So let's come over here. Let's see, let's try one right here. Ready? We're gonna just hold it in place. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, and lift, very nice. There we got a nice round face for a bunny. So I'm gonna get some more on there. Dip, 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 dip. Mm, where do you think? Here? I like that, okay. One, two, three, four, five. I like that, okay. And you'll notice, boys and girls, if Caleb put that over here, I'm tapping it a little bit like this to make sure it gets covered with the right amount of paint. Tap, tap. All right, bring it over here. Let's do another one. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any more. I'm gonna leave room to do a little chick or two, and I'm gonna do some chicks on here. Now, the next part is how we make the ears, because the ears are not gonna be round. We're not making Mickey Mouse, we're making the Easter Bunny, aren't we? So here's what you're gonna do. So Caleb's gonna put it on me for a minute. We're gonna take this holder, and if you have two, that's why it's a good idea to cut it in half. This one you can use for the round faces. I'm gonna put that there. This one, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. See what happens when I squeeze it? And I can crease it a little bit on both ends, not too much. And now when I crease it, what shape does that look like? The ear, yeah, an oval, like a bunny's ear. Okay, so now holding it in that shape, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna dip, 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 dip. All covered? All right. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make two ears on each bunny. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ta-da! Whoop, 
Need a little more paint on there, don't I? Okay. Here comes a second ear. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that one turned out really well, didn't it? Super cute. Okay. Now what I can do, if I want to, I can come back in here with my brush. And, oops. Try to fill that in just a little bit if I want. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Now I can put more ears on my other bunnies. So I'm going to dip, 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 and do the same thing. Now I'm going to push this in a little bit more. I'm going to make really long ears on this bunny. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, fun. That bunny has a little bit of a different ear, doesn't it? So I've made that a little bit thinner. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, missed that one part, no sweat. we we'll just take that brush and fill that in. And there you go, okay? So I'll do the same on this bunny, I can put ears. So we're gonna make these super tall and thin. I'm gonna keep squeezing that, really tall and thin. Little tap, tap. One, two, three, four, five. And then I think this bunny's gonna have one ear to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, cute, huh? All right, so there's our bunnies. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Now, if I wanna make a little chick, Easter chick, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna take that one. I'm gonna take a clean one and I can dip it in the yellow this time. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna come over here and do it on this paper. I'm gonna hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Not as easy to see. I was wondering about that. So it might be better to make the chicks on the white paper. Let's see how it turns out over here. Let's make a chick on this page. One, two, three, four, and five. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that better. Mm -hmm. Yep, Caleb's agreeing. So here, then you can make as many little chicky chicks as you want on your page to so think about how many little cute baby Easter chickies might be on a page together, all getting ready for Easter. There we go. There we go. How about one more? Okay. Now, if you're using paint, what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to then wait a little bit until your paint dries. And then you're going to need to go back and add the scenery and the faces on your bunnies and your chicks. So there's going to be a part two to this video when once this dries, I'm going to show you how to draw some cute little faces and things on your bunny. But in the meantime, if you want to do a little grass over here, you can get your, your brush for your green and you could do a little grass for the bunnies. Here they are, little bunnies maybe, little chick here. Now I'm not gonna put too much grass around this chick because I'm gonna need to draw little chicky legs on there. So I'm gonna leave some room or you can wait and you can add this scenery once you're all done, okay? So we're gonna come back for a part two in a little bit with our bunnies and our chicks, okay? Now, before I go, we're gonna let these dry. If you don't have paint at home, not to worry. Here's what you can do. So you take that same paper towel or toilet paper roll or any other object you have that's round. Do you remember this button, boys and girls? Yeah, we had it in the H bag, didn't we? Or something else that's round that you can trace because we can do the same thing. So let's say we're gonna make some pink bunnies. Oh, let's do a bit of brown. Now this way you can change colors on your bunnies. So I am going to cut this one in half because I do like using a shorter paper towel or toilet paper piece that makes it easier to handle. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the edge that I cut. That's kind of rough, I'm gonna use this side. So now what I can do, just like we do in class, hold it in place. I'm gonna trace around, it's just like a pattern, right? Keep holding, reach around the other side. Aha, oh, bunny. All right, let's do another brown bunny. Whoops. And sometimes you have to lift, right? 
get back around the other side. Okay, now maybe I'll do a pink one. Pink bunny? Yes. All right, Caleb said yes. One pink bunny coming up. Great. Okay. Now, if I want to make the ears, what do I do? All right? Same as I did with the paint. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Make it look like an ear like that. Bless you, Caleb. Don't just sneeze. We get to get Miss A to get him a tissue, huh? Okay, now we're going to trace this. One. Coming around there. That's always the tricky part, isn't it? Two. Oh, bunny ear. Okay, or if you want to just draw your own ears, you can. Maybe we'll try that on one of the bunnies. I like to have something to trace because then my ears come out a little bit more even that way. But it's really up to you. Right, there you go. There we go, cute bunny, huh? All right, and then maybe brown ears come through. One bunny ear on here. Ta-da! Always gotta reach around, that's the tricky part. And again, remember how we used to hold for each other, right? That helps a lot if you can have somebody hold. Oops, I have a little bit of a goop there. But all I can do is just make him have little hairy ears like that, right? And then I can draw sort of an inside of that ear like that, right, if I want to. And then you have about a sideways ear for this one. Okay, you're gonna hold it on. Oh, good point, Caleb, did you hear what he said? So you're gonna need room for this one. He's right, if I make this sideways, my ears are gonna bump into each other. So I should make this one tall. Yep, good, good eye, Caleb, glad he caught that. All right, so we're gonna come up over here. And down over here. Boop. Oh, didn't connect, but you know what we can do. Just like that. And now I can make another little inside of that bunny's ears. Okay, now making faces on bunny. Oh, then if we want to do a chick, of course, same exact thing. Use your round one and make a circle. Hold, hold, hold. If you have a grown up or a brother or sister who can hold for you, it definitely helps. All right, so now I can show you how you can make faces. So you can do the same things on these when they dry. These are still wet, so we're not gonna do anything else. But when you wanna make a face on a bunny, you can use really any color you like, but let's choose this one. So bunnies need, now you'll notice here, Kyle did a nice job on his. Look, he's got some different things. Bunnies have whiskers, right? And then there's their eyes and their nose. And sometimes they have that cute little turned up mouth. So I'm going to take an example from Kyle. So here I'm going to make two eyes. One, two, like that, right? And here's my nose. I sometimes make it sort of like a little bit of an upside down triangle. And then a little bunny mouth, right? And whiskers. And there he is. Yeah, Caleb would like to do one. So we're going to switch. I'm going to hold the camera. And Caleb's gonna make a bunny. Oops, sorry about my finger there. Okay, so now watch Caleb make a bunny. Let's see what he does. We've got quite a shadow in that this video, don't we? Sorry, boys and girls. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Can you see? I'm gonna kind of come in here sideways. Oh, look at his cute bunny. Oh, nice job, Caleb. All right, awesome. Okay. Oh, he's got color in. Oh, yeah, pink inside the ears. Smart. Yeah, lots of bunnies have those cute little pink inside their ears, don't they? Nice. Very nice, Caleb. Good work. Okay, now we're going to make some body parts on the little chicky. All right, so let's see. Little chicks are going to have little leggies, aren't they? Mm hmm? So let's make some little leggies on our chickies. Sometimes they're brown, maybe a little bit orange. So I'm gonna make a leg, two legs like that, right? And little ch -ch feet on the chickies. There they go. All right, and then chickies, of course, need a little beak, don't they? Maybe we're gonna use the same color. And a little chick beak is usually like a little triangle, upside down like that, right? Little chick, yep, Caleb nodded yes. 
Okay, and then your little chicky eyes can be whatever color you like, about brown. And then of course, your chickies are gonna need what? Feathers, mm-hmm. So you could make some little chicky feathers on them like this if you want. Oh, and then under that beak, maybe there's a little smile. <laughs> Actually, I guess the beak would be the mouth, but like that. Okay, little chicky. Or out here, you could make little chicky wings. Like that. Yeah, pretty good. So, Caleb, would you add anything to the chicky if you were to do one? If I were to do one, I'd make the beak a little bit different. So okay. If you could. Here, let's see if we could make one more circle and Caleb can show us how he would do a chicky. Let's do one up here. Go. Okay, let's see how Caleb would do one. We're going to switch. Oops, I keep putting my finger there, don't I? Okay, so let's see what Caleb does. All right, so same eyes. Yeah, we should have turned off that light. We get a lot of shadow, don't we? All right, so his, oh, look at that cute beak he's doing. Oh, I see. It's like a diamond shape with a line in the middle. Do you see that, boys and girls? So it looks more like Oh, speedy. yes, I can it see that. More like a mouth. Very smart. Okay, and then what do you do for legs and wings? Well, with legs, I just do the same thing here. Okay, same as mom. Yep. Nice. Oh, he's cute with that little beak. I like that. And then maybe some feathers or something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, quite nice, Caleb. Good work. What do you think, boys and girls? Yeah, I think I like Caleb's chick better than mine. Okay. Well, everybody does it differently, don't they? So now you've got a couple ideas on how to make your chicks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of break. We're going to let these dry. Then we're gonna come back and make the faces and the scenery, and then we'll show you the finished product in just a little bit. All right, be back in a few. Okay, boys and girls, well, here are the finished pictures from our little lesson on how to make those Easter bunnies and little chicks using either the magic markers or the paints. Now, if you remember, these two were the first two that we did with the paints. So here's our little bunnies using the white paint and our chicks using the orange paint or the yellow paint I should say. So I had a little bit of grass and a happy Easter and a little chick. And then I used that same yellow to make these little chickies. So I made a rainbow and the sun and some clouds and little Easter eggs if you can see them. And then each of the little chicks legs are doing something a little different and wings are up or wings are down. This one's trying to fly. Can you see it there? Okay, and then this is the one we do with magic markers. So I decided to add bodies to the bunnies. So here were the circles we made with the marker when we traced it, and here's the ears. And then I added two bodies for the bunnies, and then we had two little chicks here and one doo -doo -doo -doo, flying up there in the air. So that's how these all turned out. So I hope you have a lot of fun doing these. They're super cute and really fun to have for Easter. So enjoy, enjoy, and again, don't worry if you don't have paint. You can use magic marker and you can make those really cute little Easter chicks or Easter bunnies for your moms or your dads or just for yourself. And then again, thank you to Kyle because he had done this one. It's beautiful. There it is. He even wrote Happy Easter at the top. So enjoy this activity, boys and girls, and have a very, very happy Easter. <laughs>